Hey guys, welcome to Edu Club for you. Today in this lesson, we will learn about the trend of atomic radius in the periodic table. We are trying our level best to make you learn this topic through our animated visuals, which will be a lot easier for you to understand all of these facts. So keep watching our tutorials till the end. So atomic radius is decided by the atomic number. Atomic radius is the distance between the nucleus and the outermost cell. Nucleus has protons inside. And the outermost cell has their own valence electrons. We arrange electrons in its respective orbitals by following the above principle, Hunt's rule and Pauli's exclusion principle. The force of attraction between proton and the electron will in turn decide the atomic radius. Now let us move towards the periodic table. In the periodic table, if we move towards right, then the atomic number increases. Let us consider the third period. Here, the first element of third period is sodium, having atomic number 11. It means that it has 11 protons inside the nucleus and 11 electrons outside the nucleus. Here the arrangement of electron is like 2, 8 and 1. Here all of these 11 protons inside the nucleus are attracting all of these 11 electrons outside the nucleus. Since atomic radius is determined by the valence electrons only, so we will consider only the outermost cell here. Let us move towards the next element towards the right, which is magnesium, having atomic number 12. Here the outermost cell has one more electron than that of sodium. Also it has one more proton inside the nucleus. Hence the force of attraction between outermost electrons and the increased proton will be more than that of the sodium. Hence the atomic radius decreases to some extent. If we move towards the right further, then for each element towards the right, one more electron will be added. Hence the force of attraction go on increasing and the radius will go on decreasing. Hence, we will conclude that on moving towards the right in the periodic table, atomic radius decreases. With the same train with increasing atomic number, finally we reach at the extreme right element that is noble gas argon, having atomic number 18. Here you can see the outermost cell is being completely filled with 8 electrons. With further increasing atomic number, we will reach at the next element, that is the first element of the fourth period, which is potassium, having atomic number 19. Here we can see a new energy cell having one electron. Now the radius will be determined by this energy cell not by the previous one. Here you can see that the atomic radius will be more than the sodium which is right above the potassium in the periodic table. With the same trend, if you move down the group, energy cells go on increasing one by one. Hence the atomic radius will also increase. So here we can conclude that down the group atomic radius is increasing in nature. 
Hence, the summary of this lesson is from left to right in the periodic table, atomic radius decreases, and while moving down the bottom, that is from the top to bottom, the atomic radius will increase. This is all about today's lesson. If this video is useful, then please hit like and share among your friends. Again, if you are new to our channel, then please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the bell icon. Please give us your valuable feedback in the comment section below. See you in the next lesson. Till then, bye bye.